Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. In the last video, we learned about how to display a contextual action bar with the list view. So in this video here, I am going to show you how to add a checkbox into the list view so that the user can make selection using the checkboxes. So here we have an Android Studio project that contain a list view. So here the list view display some fruit names. So I run the project. So here we have a simple list view that display some fruit names. Okay, so this is our list adapter. So the first thing <coughs> I'm going to add a checkbox to the custom layout of the list view. So now this is the custom layout for the list view that contain a simple text view that to display the fruit names. So here I am going to place a checkbox for the checkbox so that when the contextual action bar appears, the user can select items using this checkbox. So here I place the checkbox with ID checkbox. So when the contextual action bar appears, user can make selection using this checkbox. So here the ID is checkbox. So first I am going to disable, I am going to remove this checkbox from the uh, layout by using the visibility into gone. So we need to display the checkbox when user enter into the contextual action mode. Okay, so this is the custom layout. So first thing we can display the uh, checkbox. So First, we can uh, enable the contextual action mode. So, implement the listener, multi choice mode listener. <coughs> so, first, we can inflate the menu for the contextual action mode. So, here we have a menu that contains two items delete and share option. So, first, we can inflate the menu. So we can inflate the menu from the on create action mode method. Create some variables for menu inflator. Mode dot get menu inflator. Now inflate the menu. And return true from this method. So now specify some parameters for the list to view. So list to view dot set choice mode into choice mode multiple model now set the multi choice model listener into the model listener so now we can test the project so i run the project so when make a long click the contextual action bar appear so now we need to display the checkbox when the when user enter into the contextual action mode for that here first I am going to create some boolean variable so public static boolean is action mode into false so when user enter into the contextual action mode set the value into true and when user leave the contextual action mode set that one into false now go to the list adapter inside the get to view method check some condition uh, first initialize the checkbox Row dot find view by id r dot id checkbox now check some condition if main activity dot each action mode is true in that case we have to display the checkbox so checkbox dot set visibility into visible otherwise <coughs> that means user exit the context selection mode in that case we have to hide the checkbox now run the project so now when user enter the contextual action mode each item associated with the checkbox so that the user can make selection using the checkbox okay so now we can perform the delete operation I'm go to main activity create some variables public static list uh, user selection Now create another variable called the action mode initialize that one with the null okay now <clears throat> from the on create action mode initialize the variable action mode 
okay so when user leave the action mode specify action mode into null and clear the user selection list now go to the list adapter so checkbox dot set checked change listener so when user make a selection we have to save the selection so we have to identify which checkbox is selected by the user for that here we set a tag on the checkbox and set tag into position so that we can identify which position of checkbox is selected by the user so from the on checked change listener we can get the position by calling the get tag method on the button view parameter now we can <coughs> add or remove the user selection so if user selection contain that particular item in that case we have to remove that item from the user selection list otherwise uh, we have to add the selected item into the list user selection list okay so now we can display a title on the contextual action bar by using the action mode object so set the title so get the size of the user selection and this much of item is selected okay so now we can test it so run the project again so when i select an item that particular number is displayed on the action bar so when i remove the item <laughs> the counter is decrease okay so it's working fine so now we can perform the delete operation so when user make selection when they click the delete button we have to delete the selected items that is the next step so for delete items from the list here i create another method called remove items with one parameter that is the user selection list now remove each item from the list using a for each loop after that call the notify data set change to method so that the list view will get updated okay so when user select the delete button we have to perform the delete operation so here i use the switch case statement to identify which option is selected by the user and call the remove item on the adapter after that we have to dismiss the action mode using finish method and return true and now we can handle the default case in that case we have to return false okay so now we can test it so run the project so here i made some selection and click the delete button now make some other selection now remove one item now try to delete okay it's working fine 